Hello everyone. I'm Deniz Bardakçı from Aarhus University, Denmark. I'm the team leader of Team Air Aarhus. In this video, we will try to explain our methods in order to solve the, solve the problem of this competition. First, we will mention about the challenges of pet playing algorithms. Also, he will mention about how the submodules of drone address those problems. Second, Hang So will mention about his vision algorithm and how the vision algorithm performs. As the last person, Christopher, he will mention about the basic idea behind of his pet planning algorithm. My name is Hui Pham. I'm the PhD candidate at AirLab at Aarhus University. I have the team to decompose the problems into multiple robotics problems. Light checking with a drone is a common benchmark problem for us to test multiple uh, control and path planning algorithms. In order for the robot to carry out such a task, it has to get multiple components to work correctly. First of all, it needs a visual camera to check the line and has a perception algorithm be robust enough to detect the line and to estimate the state of the robot related to the line. Second, it has to get a control algorithm to, and path planning algorithm to drive the robot to the desired state and also be responsive enough to cope with the uncertainties coming from the environment. No doubt that the most difficult part in this algorithm, in this problems is to have the perception algorithm working right because the visual cameras is subject from multiple disturbance from light, varying lighting conditions, high damage range or motion blur. Hi, I'm Hanzo, a master student from Air Lab from Air Aarhus University. I am responsible for solving the perception part in the team. The main problem of the perception part is to localize the pass in the landing zone, then communicate with the control part and let it know what you should do next. Once the control part commences some actions, the camera will have some new images. Therefore, the perception part has to finish the localizing job in a fast manner. According to the requirement, we plan to adopt some method with low computation costs. Therefore, we first try to put a probing bar in the middle of the image. Since the color of the path has already been known, therefore the left and the right edge of the path can be probed by the probing bar. Then we calculate the middle point of the path according to the left and the right edge. Then we return it to the control, control part, and the control part can follow the middle point. However, this method performed terribly in sharp turning points. Therefore, we decided to adopt moment method which is to calculate the moment of the image. Because there are no interfering objects in the first round, in most cases, the moment of the image is located in the center of the path. In the sharp turning points, although it would devi deviate a little bit from the center, we can handle this by tuning the parameters in control part. So to localize the landing circle, we deployed a block analysis block in the Simulink which help us to detect whether there is a new blob in the input image. Because there are no interfering objects, once there is a new blob detected, the system will know the landing circle is within the field of view. Once the moment method returns the center of the circle, then the control part can take actions accordingly. My name is Christopher and I am a master student at the Air Lab at Aarhus University. Um, I've been tasked with working on the path planning component of this uh, line tracking robot. So uh, in general, we have approached this problem in a, in a very like uh, keep it simple manner. So uh, the main inputs to this um, uh, path planning component is the current state of the drone as well as the, this image moment coming from the perception module. So with this information, uh, we work on the assumption that this image moment is the, uh, is the waypoint or the place that we want the drone to move to. So um, the issue is that uh, this image moment is located on the image plane. So what we do is we project that onto the, onto the ground or in, into the world frame. So we get uh, X, Y and Z coordinates in the world frame. Uh, we disregard the set component and, uh, and then we just use the, these X and Y uh, coordinates uh, and send that to the controller so that we track this, uh, these coordinates at all times. Furthermore, we also uh, compute the heading so that the drone is always pointed directly at this image moment uh, projected on the ground. 
For the landing sequence, the perception module outputs a flag where the circle is detected and also the, uh, the circle center coordinates. Um, so in the exact same way as before, we uh, project these coordinates into the world frame and, uh, and send those to the controller to, in order to navigate uh, directly on top of the circle. And when the drone is uh, above the circle center, within some threshold, uh, we use some simulink logic in order to latch the X and Y coordinates uh, and then we simply set the set coordinate to zero and, uh, and hopefully the, the, the drone lands fine. In the end, I have collected pet pending and vision algorithms and integrated them in MATLAB Simulink. Among the problems that we faced in this competition, the vision part was the most challenging one for us. We have been lucky to demonstrate our algorithms in a user-friendly simulation environment. On behalf of my team, I'm grateful to be part of this competition because it helped us on developing new software and technical skills.